Oh, I thought they would have had a newer version of that. Uh, nope, apparently not. Well, that's fine. saves. Uh, oh, that's right. They had the Chaotix people in this. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, sure. That's... <laughs> Fine. Classic coupe. One and two. Uh, I, sure. That's a very weird menu. Okay, I think that's... No, wait, there. Yeah, sure. It is, in fact, chopped and screwed, Sonic. Oh man, this is... very weird. I don't know if I'd ever done the Chaotix playthrough. Let's move that down slightly. Oh, they have wind poses. I don't think they had those poses in Chaotix. So somebody sat there and made a conscious decision to... draw new art for the Chaotix people. Oh. Does Charmy just not jump? Does Charmy just do that? Yeah. Oh, he does. That makes this maybe the worst way to play this. Is Charmy always like this? I mean, I don't think so. I don't remember though. It'd just be Vector. Oh, he climbs stuff. Did he always climb stuff? I don't even remember what half these people did in their original game. Oh, come on, Charmy. Great. Well, it makes that bit easier. Do you think this is official Sega? Do you think Sega specifically would go back to the first Sonic game and think, you know, what if we just put the Chaotix people in that and then released it? You know, that ever hot property, Team Chaotix. There's always that one guy in our Twitter mentions that keeps asking for more Chaotix games. So there. Just put this out. Cater to the demand. Oh. 
I mean, it's really well made. In terms of, like, the palette that they found for all the characters, that doesn't seem to really conflict with anything. Um... But... Oh, thanks, Espio. Okay, well, the flames don't look quite right. And Robotnik is extra jaundiced today, but... It's close! I mean, who's to say that animals can't look like that with that palette? Oh, I shouldn't have picked Team Chaotix. Too janky. Although, I guess you can just do this. Aha! Oh. Is that just the end of the level? Great. Love it. I take it back. Should always play as Team Chaotix. Any opportunity to skip Marble Zone is a good opportunity. They make all the levels like that? Oh, no. Well, oh, you can break those tremor. Interesting. Wait. Uh, oh. You can't put one of those everywhere. Sure, fine. really just goes to show that if you could just keep going to the right in Marble Zone all the time and not going into the uh, underground cavernous bit, it would be over in seconds. Wow, they did it again! Ow. Oh, one second. My coworker's messaging me. Today's the 6th? Yeah, okay, that's fine then. My coworker messages me on a Sunday morning. Uh, this particular one does, yes. my co-workers should have gotten into Harvard, it should have been him, but oh well. He hasn't graduated yet, although I suppose neither have I. <laughs> I just redrew the sprite for this fan game. It's very funny. The top third of Vector is finding that very, very funny. No, he's not like Harry Potter. Not like that Harry Potter, at least. He just does not seem to be encumbered with major depression, let's say. Though maybe, I don't know. Who am I to assume? It's like, oh, everything you do is the highest amount of effort. It does not seem like it's made by somebody who doesn't want to get out of bed every day, but... It's possible. Harry Potter might have had major depression. Would explain a lot. God, they didn't have enough space and RAM. I just realized to put the HUD down. It's 
just with generic numbers, no score, no rings, no time, any of that. Pretty sure Vector's gimmick was not that he climbed. But maybe it was. I only played as Mighty, because he had that wall kick. You got the 2B air. Uh, I don't think any of those pieces are tradable. I think at some point we looked into this. Getting any of the 2B stuff involves me playing more Final Fantasy XIV. to finish my uh, figures. So I'm gonna take a shower. I'm just waiting to dry off and I have to go into work. That did not look great. That Maybe could have had a couple extra frames of something, possibly. Just throwing it out there. I was trying to finalize the figures for my paper, and it's irritating because some of the data is like some of these behavioral tasks, and what's the animal score on this based on how much time did they spend interacting with this thing over that thing and some of the numbers are backwards from what I have written down so I think some of the things got switched up like the two different targets got mixed up so things are like 40% instead of 60% or whatever and I'm not going to know for sure until I go into work and get my notebook and check what actually is written down and then do the analysis again. I don't want to go, but I kind of have to graduate. I would feel like a massive dumbass if I somehow... I say somehow as if it's, like, not going to happen. I suppose it still could, but... It's like, oops, you did everything too late, and now you can't get that job, because you didn't graduate. That would not be ideal. Gave you all these opportunities, dropped them right on your lap, and you blew it. So, I do have to get those figures done today. That's the goal. It's one of those very stressful things. I don't know. A lot of this paper is weirdly stressful because there was... Oh, if you hold up, you can also spin dash. Because a lot of this was done, like, years ago, and... Pulling it together is always a little tedious, and I'm always... I don't know. Early bits into that experiment were not fun times, and things were not working out super great. I'm always paranoid the data is garbage. And I'm gonna go look through all the points of everything and then find, like, Oh, it's actually been wrong this entire time, and I never noticed. I'm pretty sure it's not, but... Will not exhale until this paper is out. I'm just making a figure for the mechanism in a PowerPoint of all things. It's a very basic figure. Some of the art tools they have in Office these days are surprisingly useful. Also, surprisingly obtuse. Mm. 
the problem is the part of my brain that oh that looks not quite right for Espia. Oh, is he coming back? There he is. The problem is the part of my brain that used to just be like, I don't need to worry about this deep down, I know I've got it, but I'm still gonna stress about it. Like that is morphed and mutated into just like, oh well, you're actually in the process of screwing this up right now, and maybe you can't do it, and maybe everything is hopeless and shitty and awful constantly. Uh, so, like, I guess years and years of thinking, like, oh, I don't need to stress about this, but I'm gonna, has now just supplanted in me actually believing that everything is awful all the time and actually hopeless. So that's fun. Oh, uh, is there a spike glitch in this? No, mercifully. I can't do attitude, it's been injured. Yeah, I guess. Well, it's like when I would take tests through, like, high school or something, I would always stress out a bunch, but secretly no, like... Yeah, I'm, like, reasonably intelligent, I guess, and did study quite a bit. And, like, yeah, I'm gonna stress out about it, because that's what I always end up doing, but... Historically, it's usually fine, so... I realize a lot of that stress is misplaced, but now it's like constant stress, and I truly believe that I'm awful at everything, so... Gotta watch out. Keep your thoughts clean. Or else... All that negative crap you have floating around in there will just eventually take over and metastasize like a cancer. Oops. Crushing it. Uh, this is Sonic Classic Heroes. It used to just be Sonic 2 Heroes, and then they put the first Sonic in there as well. Now it's classic. Some of that classic Sonic. But it also has, like, the elemental shields and crap from 3, so it's just sort of Sonic. We live in a society. Oh, it's deep. Yeah, no, the Harvard job dropping in my lap is definitely something. I was interview or not interviewing, but giving that talk with them on Friday. And they were talking like, yeah, all these places that you can go and work with and collaborate with and oh, it's not only in Harvard, but there's like MIT and Boston University and Boston College and everything, it's just like, oh, oh wait, oh wow, this is actually, actually happening. And I'm talking about like, every time you do a grant, there's a section for uh, environment, which is essentially like, of all the things we rate your grant on and what you've written about in terms of proposing experiments and everything, now we're going to judge you on how, you know, suitable we think your institution is for doing this work. And they were saying, like, yeah, now that you're at Harvard, every one of those is just going to be maxed out all the time. <laughs> In terms of, like, they're never going to dock you for uh, not being at a uh, prestigious enough institution or anything for that work. And it kind of just sinks in. Like, oh god. Not actually that smart, but I'll take it. 
Is this faster than it used to be? I feel the running animation definitely is. I don't know if the half pipe is running faster though. It might be. Maybe slightly? It seems faster, but I don't know if that's just the sprites in front. And in typical Sonic 2 style, nobody behind the main character gets any credit. Oh, I got a soul emerald, because that's the one that you get in the signposts. Uh, green... green Sonic is Vector. Vector the Crocodile. You could also play as Charmy the Bee, who can't jump, apparently. Just air dashes. And also, you cannot... Oh, I guess you can sort of go at like 45 degree angles, but... Uh, and then there's Espio the Chameleon. And on a system with a better color palette, his idle animation is just cycling colors. I don't know if he does that in this. I mean, I don't think he's gonna do it underwater. No, that does not change. So it's a Sega Genesis game, and they only have 64 colors per frame screen. Actually, it's probably 64 colors per line, actually, actually. Because you could have... Oh, it does change colors, look at that. Somebody found extra colors for that palette cycling animation. But yeah, you can get more than 64 colors on a Sega Genesis frame. If you switch the palette midway down the screen scanline electron gun raster pattern of an old tube TV. And I have no idea how you, like, emulate any of that stuff. You know, stuff that relies on the inherent, like, weirdness and illusion of, like, static motion or whatever on a CRT. But I guess emulators just sort of are programmed with the knowledge that this is all being generated scanline by scanline. I don't know. Uh, I watched some Coding Secret videos. They're kind of interesting. I feel like he has not done anything new recently. One of his latest videos was like, Hey, I'm gonna be putting out my totally non-paid advertisement for this emulator subscription service so you can stop downloading your games for free and instead stream them for money in a situation that is way worse than what you've currently been doing. Hint, hint, wink, wink, and that got a billion dislikes. Also, apparently the Game Hut guy is supposed to be kind of a jerk. I remember reading stuff from uh, former employees who posted on Reddit, like, yeah, this guy is kind of a miserable slave driver. And very self-centered. And I could... I could kind of see it. So essentially what I'm saying is that I'm the kind of person that will take unsubstantiated rumors on Reddit as to why I should not like a person and then use that as evidence to not like them. However, I will still watch their videos. Give them my YouTube peanuts.
No, you're right. Robert Fudius has not been called a slave driver yet. Of all of the terms. You could use to denigrate Bobby Food Use. That is not one that has currently been used. Did the rest of this not spawn in, Arthur? Oh. Oh, great, an electric shield. That's real nice for when the water comes up and you immediately lose it. Ow. Oh. Man, holding up to spin dash in this is really weird. Because apparently sometimes... I don't know. When I'm trying to get, like, Vector to dash upward, I keep holding up, and then sometimes I do that, and he's like, Oh, you want to spin dash? I'm like, no, I don't. Oh yeah, Bobby food use is very confounding. Uh, I assume he has no malice in anything he does, but... It is just a life that's so radically different than mine that I could not possibly begin to know what it's like to be Bobby Foodies. Bobbert Foodert. God, this is the worst boss in this game. Like, I like Labyrinth Zone for the music. I think it is aesthetically interesting. I hate this boss. I hate this boss so much. Oh, a carer. Sorry, I read that and thought... Oh, that's a typo for carrier. For mentally ill people. Like, yeah, I just... Just carry him. Throw him on my back and go. I like the music in Labyrinth Zone a lot. And essentially, once you're underwater here, just, like, give up. Everything is screwed. Oh, God. Oh, what? No, why? I hate this game. Because you don't get any rings before this. Not even in the real one. All you get is a shield, and in this case, they decided, oh, let's make the shield you normally get the one that disappears when it touches water in this boss, where the water is constantly rising. The real version doesn't give you a ring either. I mean, unless they changed it in like a phone re-release or something. One of those Taxman ports. Please don't hit me. Great, good. Oh, you don't, you... Really? God damn it. Why? No. Ah, oh, jeez. Great. Cool. Words. Let's just do it again. Let's get to the top and be done with it, and then just hit him when you don't need to, and then just do it a fifth time. Please just shoot. Thank you. Please, thank you. God damn it. Okay. There, see? He just runs away. You don't even have to hit him with Vector multiple times. Vector finds that hilarious. It's not. Wait. Oh. Wow, you have a really tiny hitbox, Vector. Okay. Yeah, wow, that's really disconcerting.
brother worked at a group home for mentally ill adults. No, Labyrinth Zone is always level 4. This is always 5. I thought about... Like, I, I know it's never a good experience on the whole for anybody, but... Had occasionally thought about, uh... How pleasant it could conceivably be, at least. To, uh... Be at an inpatient mental health facility, just from the perspective of, like... Great, well... My day is accounted for. I'm gonna sit around and be bored in this hospital gown as I eat applesauce all day. And hang out with other mentally ill people. But only the cool ones. I'd like to say, pretending that I would be one of the cool ones. Now this is Sonic Classic Heroes. It's classic Sonic with a hero's twist. <laughs> also, that opinion of a mental hospital is only really based on the one that I went to when they gave me all the psilocybin. Where it's just like a madhouse everywhere, except for me, who they loaded up drugs, and I'm having a great time. I assume a real one would not be like that if you were actually a patient. Though maybe, like, you know, I could think of worse things to do than to just dose people up with psilocybin in a mental hospital. It's just the thing to do. <laughs> yeah, why not? Give that a shot. Oh, good. Totally different things. playing this game when I could just be doing this. Ha 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 ha. My favorite part of Sonic games is not having to play them. I don't know why Charmy rolls into a ball. I mean, Charmy's a bee. No. Great. All these bosses absolutely not made for getting on top of them like that. Bonk. Vector just loses it in the background. Cool though, he's laughing about it. Yeah. 
Can you cheese this? Oh. Oh! Is that always up there? Interesting. Uh... Gotta say, like, yeah, this skips a whole bunch of the level, but I can't honestly say that I'm missing out on that part all that much. I mean, you can beat Scrap Brain Zone in under a minute. That's an improvement. Uh, at some point I have to walk to work. Problem. Not once. Schrodinger's woo. Sonic 1 physics were not designed for this. Oh, I don't know if they actually updated the base game with any unique physics changes. They got rid of that spike glitch so you don't die after hitting spikes when you're invincible. So I don't know. If they've like ported Sonic 1 over into the Sonic 2 engine or how any of that works. Well, you kind of can, but not the way they want you to. None of Scrap Brain Zone ever did anything for me. Not the music, not the level, not the graphics. It's just... It's just not great. What I'm saying is, Sonic 1 is not Sonic 2. And after. Oh, oh god. Oh, okay. Well, I've had nightmares like that. Without the crushed part at the end, I mean. 
You were an oil ocean zone fan when you were little. <laughs> Why? Could you not be? Box. It's kind of funny that when they were thinking, like, what is the last final level going to be like? How do we make it extra hard? Oh, we'll just make it another zone of Labyrinth Zone. Why not? If we have to make this hard and annoying, let's just make it underwater then. We, oh. Can't believe Espio's dead. Espio, or no, sorry, that's Vector the Crocodile. Please do not call him Waluigi. That's open-ended game design. I could have chosen not to blow up Robotnik. Oh boy, oh, and there's Amy in the plane for some reason, because Team Chaotix totally knows who she is. Oh, the plane just crashes. Why are those pigs yellow? Ha 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 ha. Oh no, that's Sonic 3 music. Wait, there's no flying battery zone in Sonic 2. Found a Streets of Rage ROM hack that changes all the characters to Puyo characters. Like, in a good way? Does it look like trash? Do you mean Puyo characters like the blobs, or like the actual... people in Puyo? still jump from the top of Mount Everest, to be fair. It's not like a Mario-specific thing to be able to do. Let's see, what is this? Oh no! Oh man, this looks not good. If it crashed, X split, I mean retro arch. Well, let's give that a shot, because it seems like a bad idea. Oops, I need that open. Downloads. Oh, I didn't download in here. Why is the download folder for Edge somewhere else? Oh, 
Ah, good. I love their work. Sure. Remember when that happened? <laughs> oh no, not the Streets of Rage! I cannot believe Satan is here. On the streets of rage. Oh. Satan plans to trash the city for his own greed. The Puyo help accompany the destruction of the city. Dot space dot. Arl teams up with Randar, mascot of the blackness. The br oh god, and a doppelganger like no other. They must make a vast amount of effort to put Satan and his goons out of misery. This is English. Five warriors make a stand for justice. That's kind of interesting because this game only had four players. Kind of into the music. I forget what track this is actually from. I feel like it is in Streets of Rage, but I don't remember from what. Puyo Wars. Okay. Yeah. Options. I'll just turn that up just in case. Oh, I wonder. It's all Streets of Rage music. Oh, good. I don't know what a lot of this is from, so... Let's find out. Oh, wow. Uh... You can play as all of these? <laughs> I mean... Wait, do they have all these characters in- Oh no, why is it weird 3D Puyo? Do they have all these characters and none of them are Draco? I kind of feel like the characters in the beginning are the ones that are probably the most done. But I'm just gonna pick Satan. Okay. Good. Great. Uh, good. Great. Yep. Well, he doesn't jump. Uh, he just shoots people out of his head, as you do in the Streets of Rage. You know, mind bullets. So they just base Satan off of Mr. X, and... Oh, does this not take damage? Great. Good. Great. We can just use this all the time then. Gotta say, not having a jump is not great. Also, there's no grab anymore. Yeah, Randar. My favorite Puyo character. Oh. Good. I 
I guess, yeah. <laughs> I don't understand where this thing came from. Or why it's like the first character on the character select screen. one good Puyo, because all the other ones work for Mr. X. Can I not pick up a knife? Oh, good. God, the eyes and the face and that are just like... Why? I mean, the Puyo coming out of... <laughs> oh, great. The Puyo coming out of the sewer branching a pipe is kind of very funny. Outcast? With a K? Like, the band? Is that what that Puyo's called? Like, the other ones are just called Yellow Puyo. Blue Puyo and Outcast. Oh god. <laughs> god, it's a little UI sprite. Ow. Great, well, I'm not gonna main that one. Oh, it starts on Arl, but Randar is the first. This... this has got to have come from something, I think. It looks like the character with the mo- nope, it doesn't any- oh. I was gonna say with the most potential. I don't know about that anymore. Yeah. So that's your normal attack, and then your forward is that. It's fine. I mean, the animations are bad. Uh, but it is pretty much just Streets of Rage. No range, though. Okay, well, they want you to pick Arl by default, so I guess we'll just do that. Because that's got to be the best, most complete character. Okay, well, it has a walk cycle. That's a start. It doesn't have a dash. Yep, that looks right. Fire something. Yay! Great. Now I'm happy. <laughs> it's not very useful. fine. It's fine. It's a very weird thing to have made, but... It's... 
somehow both better and worse than I thought it was gonna be, so... I could probably play through the whole game like this at some point. I just want to see who else is here. There's Evil Arl. What does Carbuncle do? Okay. Does he shoot eye lasers out? What is that? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he does. Okay. It says goo goo. It's kind of all you need. It's fine, actually. I mean, they all don't have, like, dash attacks. Oh no, I guess this one does. I mean, Carbuncle looks like he's mostly in scale, I guess. Joseph. Still looking for my main. Yeah. Great. Oh no, it just turns into Barbin. Oh no. They did not put in enough work. Why is his hand so big? Why? Why? And then he just flips upside down <laughs> and then turns into a dude. Also, doesn't have a jump. Has one special attack. Does not have a dash attack. God, just look at how bad this looks. Oh, the whole thing just gyrates and then it flips upside down. Come on, you have to animate the legs. At least. Good. Great. Oh, good. Great, he moonwalks everywhere. Gosh. No, that part of his walking animation is an attack now, and that's why he goes backwards. Oh yeah, just staring at the eye every time he kicks is very strange. Oh god! Oh, he does jump. He does not have a jump attack, so this jumping is totally pointless. There's a weird amount of effort in this, and like, not in the right places. Oh, that was them animating. Do I have a throw? No, I don't have a throw. I mean, that's it's kind of a good use of that sprite, I guess. But somebody had to be the stand-in for the fire breathers.
B burn. Oh, bear. You know, Shezo. It's... He's on the Genesis. I'm sure this is going to be great. Hey, you know, he kind of animates. Yeah, sure. Oh, well, maybe it doesn't look that great. I was gonna say, this feels sort of the most like Puyo. Or not Puyo, Streets of Rage. Does not mean it's good. They should have made the death sounds for the Puyo, the sound it makes when you pop them. I don't know what they're doing. I cannot pick up the knife. see what the rest of it's like, but I have to keep playing through level one over and over. Yeah, yeah, that's what we have to do here, actually. I mean, this doesn't do any damage to me, so I guess I could just keep doing it. But it seemed like a good idea. There. Good sound. I mean, somebody actually animated multiple frames for these things. Although I like how the hurt animations are just the usual ones, but rotated like... 30 degrees or something. Yeah, like, the, the enemies all have kind of attacks animated, which is kind of a lot of effort. I don't even know what that thing is from. they have all these characters and they do not have Draco. Literally had to include only one character to make me happy and you didn't do it.
<laughs> Satan just slides across. God, you have no range. I just stab her in the face a few times, you know. It's Puya. Oh, it wasn't Satan. Sorry, it was Incubus. Or was that Satan? I don't remember. That's Incubus. Oh god, Shazza, you have no range! person that made this up to now. Just out of curiosity. Retired millionaire. Yeah, that sounds about right. <sighs> Shezo. They should have put the pu or, uh, Puyo music in there. Then I'd actually believe I'm playing Puyo. What do the motorcycles look like? Oh, good. It's the zombies on, like, the hoverboards. start it to get another character. I mean, I guess the rest of this is pretty much just regular Streets of Rage. I'm not gonna play through the whole thing. Uh, da, 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 da. B burn. Great. That's... Yeah, that's the noise he makes. Or not anymore. Ah! Boop. Well, he has no jump, and he does this real fast. I think this is supposed to be Shiva. Oh. If you press both buttons, he does this. Is that an attack? No. Maybe. Ah. Cool special move. Thanks. Did they just not hit me during it? Oh, it's guarding. As you'd probably expect. I guess there's a ROM hack of this that allows you to play as all the characters, and they just built this on top of it. I wonder if that was even in the cards for the original game. Probably not. 
might have had to program that whole special or um, character select thing differently. Oh god, he's so fast. Oh, okay. No, I'm kind of into this one now. Sprite just turns into Sans when he turns around. Oh. Oh. So I have a normal... Oh, no. That's the same as the up one. So I think he's the ninja. God. Yeah, that seems balanced. Just, just hit A. Outcast. <laughs> Whee! It's a good animation. Say it's not only pause on one frame of it. No, the boss is just one of the other Puyo characters. Yes. <laughs> you just mash B on everything and it just dies. best character in the game, I've decided. Just mash. You win. I thought these were the ninjas, based on how they move. Yeah, this is the Puyo equivalent of getting a Tenchan. Never ends the combo. He's very happy though. Very grabby. <laughs> attack. <laughs> no, we just have him hover a little bit and then just spin the sprite around and that's the attack.
I love video games. That went great. Guitar? Ow. It's my special attack. Is it also a guard? I guess that's a guard. Oh. Wait, what was that? How did I do that other down thing? Wait, no, stop. I have no idea how to do that slam attack. Sort of happens. Oh god, the zombies look so miserable. Like, I don't know how much of this was actually animated by the dude that made this thing. I mean, I don't think the original game has more than, like, two frames for most of these characters. So, like, technically it is very impressive, I guess. Oh, who's the main guy? Oh. Well, that was good. I want to know who the guy in the jetpack is. And then maybe I'll do something else. That's fine, just keep hitting me. Great. I guess that makes sense. How does it look when it animates? Oh. Weird. Man, the hitboxes for this make no sense. <laughs> so I'm assuming it's still hovering? Sorry, this is a Puyo hack of Son or, uh, Streets of Rage. I don't know why someone decided to hack all these Puyo characters into it, but they did.
And that's a choice that we all have to live with now. God, he just jumped so far. Please just let me punch you. Uh, this doesn't make any sense dimensionally. No. Great. There. I can't believe they don't have Draco in this. It was the only character they actually had to include for this Puyo crossover for me to care about it, and they blew it. Although thinking about it, that person had to draw these Puyo sprites as well. Because they don't animate like this. Oh man, I wonder what the kangaroo guy is going to be like. Who they picked for that. Yeah, it animates fine. Oh, he's just not here? Or is that later? Could have changed that machine to say Puyo. Zombies just melting off screen somewhere. Yep. The easiest version of Streets of Rage 2. Coincidentally, also the Puyo version. Oh god, that Puyo's got a knife! I mean, there's a lot of, like, Puyo world building that's happening here, to be fair. You know, like, now we know that Puyos can wield knives, which was not something that we knew in universe before. Kind of, I'm kind of coming around to this. Like a lot of stuff looks kind of broken, but kind of just realizing the extent of the assets they had to draw in. It's very impressive and maybe very misguided, but Still, and I can't pick up the sword. We the kangaroo. What was that guy's name? Cashman? Cashman. Yeah, you know. That's his real name. I've played the games. I know Cashman when I see him. Also, it's really hard to tell if you're doing badly because you don't really have any hurt sprites that look distinct from your normal sprites. 
Like, am I flying across the screen because I jumped? Or I got hit and now I'm dead? Ow. I don't have a jump attack. That one instrument is way too loud in this mix for some reason. some point though. Get my notebook and finish these figures up. Did this freeze? Oh, there it goes. You're right, they didn't change the wall face. That could have been anybody. That could have been Draco. Man, I cannot judge the depth of this at all. I don't have a jump attack either. So I can't really even do that much. I think the only damage I've- yeah, most of the damage I've done to it has just been from the enemies throwing me into the boss. Oh god, please, just... No. Nope. Doesn't hit him. Nope. Great. Sure. That looked normal. Oh no, it's me! Oh, I wasn't the ninja then. How do I do that attack? No. Don't have the range! <laughs> They're so happy though. Oh god, uh, I don't know. I haven't been Minotaur. Oh, he looks good.
Great. <laughs> I don't have a special attack. I don't have a lot of attacks with this guy. <laughs> Supposed to be uh, the brawler dude. I guess he does not have a lot of attacks that are not just normal grapples. Great. Well, that somehow worked. I just amble down. The worst character. Shouldn't have changed it. Well, I'm gonna go do my lab stuff. Bye.